Eric Schoenfeld here with TechCrunch TV. I've got Seth Sternberg and Sandy Jen, co-founders of Mebo. And uh, Seth is also an occasional contributor to uh, TechCrunch. Everyone, we love your uh, columns. Thank you. So, Mebo just hit an interesting milestone, yep. which you tweeted out a couple yep. days ago. What sure is did. it? Yeah, so we're in Quantcast, according to Quantcast, our worldwide reach is now 250 million worldwide users a month. Uniques. And uniques, yep. And it's uh, 120 million in the United States, according to Quantcast. So, so that's huge. And that's up from... What, what kind of growth is that? From well, a year ago or from... When, when were you 200 million? Yeah, we were probably 200 million maybe... Four months ago, five months okay. ago, so um, it's a lot of growth recently. Page views is actually the easiest way to see growth because when our bar gets on another site, you know we already see fifty percent of the U.S. audience monthly. So a site can have ten million uniques in the United States, and we'll only pick up five. And just explain what Mebo is. It's a yeah, toolbar along a, the bottom of the site. It's a bar on the bottom of a site. The site launches it. All of their users get it when they go to that site. And it drives engagement on that site. So it helps users discover cool content on the site in real time. Helps users talk to their friends on that site. Uh, users can share through the bar. Right. And then it also makes the site's money. It has an ad that uh, helps drive revenue for the sites as well. The bar is also, um, it just, it, it's very seamless, so that when users click pages, the bar stays there, it never sort of goes away from full. The only thing on the page doesn't scroll. Um, we worked really hard to make it that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's very yeah. performant. So the bar is not what Mebo started out as. Mebo started out as this universal IM yeah. service, right? And went back in 2005? Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that. How did you go from that to this toolbar you know, service, which is now driving most of your business? So when we first started Mebo, we wanted to solve a consumer problem. And the problem was, OK, how do we communicate online without having to do all the stuff that you'd have to do normally, like download software. You know, you, you go to your friend, you say, installation process. They have no idea what you're talking about. So when we launched it, um, people were like, wow, this is really cool. What you've done is done something really interesting on the web that we've never seen before. I want that on my site. And we're like, well, what, what are you talking about? So in a way, they kind of knew that this new sort of social, dynamic, real-time thing that we had built would be really interesting off of our destination site. So we started to call them up, and we tried a bunch of different variations of what that might be. First one, make Amiibo Room, Amiibo Me, which is a little widget, lets you talk to people on your site. The Amiibo Rooms, which is chat rooms. But those didn't really work from a from sort of a user experience plus you know monetization plus you know publisher and advertiser perspective. And then we kind of settled across the bar, which turned out to be the best form factor ever. Um, and once we started to get traction there, it became sort of this, the dominant. this sort of pen, like, awesome sort of And what's platform. the main feature that people use on the bar? Is it chat or is it other? It's, it's really yeah. variable. There are sites where it's all about chat, where that social site will just let all the users talk to each other. Uh, there are sites where it's all about what's hot right now, like here are our latest YouTube videos, here's the hottest articles on our site, here's the stuff we want you to see right now. And what's great for those sites is you know, a lot of traffic comes in not through the front page, so the site never gets to say to the user, here's what's hot, but it comes in through the side doors, through search engines or through social networks. So it's a really great way to have permanently for the user, like here's what's hot. So that's a huge use case. Uh, and then it's also, you know, it helps make those sites money with the ad. But the most recent thing we launched, which is uh, sites just seem to love, like Seventeen Magazine's doing a really great job with it, is you know sites will send real-time notifications to the users on Twitter and Facebook, but they don't do that on their own site, right? You know, if the user's reading an article or something, a site doesn't have a way to say, hey, something cool just happened, check it out. Uh -huh. So we just launched the ability to send a real-time notification to all your users on your site. Or like on the site. Yeah, that's really neat. And so the growth, though, is that coming just from more sites Put more adding, more the, sites. adding the toolbar, or is there something about the toolbar that the sites that have them are driving more traffic internally, and you're seeing that as a result, or is it is it the sharing features of the of the toolbar that's driving other uniques? And what 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 makes up that number? It's really a mix of all of that. So the bar is designed to drive more traffic within that site and to try to drive pages up on that site. It's also designed to just get users to spend more time on that site. Um, at the same time, 
the bar is just getting more and more popular with sites. It's just it's spreading very, very quickly. Right. Uh, so we're just seeing the, the majority of the growth we're seeing is just more and more sites deploying Mebo's bar. I feel like publishers are also learning that the social aspect, whatever that may be for them, whether it's chatting, navigation, whatever, is important. And they're looking for solutions that actually work. And Mebo works. And we, and we work with them in a way that you know does a lot for them, not only from the product perspective, but also revenue, um, which, which creates a really win-win situation for both us and them. Um, and then the more you see it around, you know, the more you're like, oh, what is that thing? You know, I really want to talk to those guys, which you know is wonderful for us. Yeah, and I think there's a little bit also of like sites really starting to refocus on paying attention to what's happening socially on their site. Like, hey, how do I get my users engaged here? So, you know, looking out the next 18 to 24 months, what what's some of the cool stuff you're going to be implementing? What are the things that you think that, uh, you know, you can do to kind of increase yeah. the engagement, increase that number? Yeah, I'll tell you, the thing that we're most interested in right now and kind of the area we're really trying to innovate on is thinking really deeply about the fact that, like, Mebo's bar is on Audi Zine and BMW blog. It's also on Seamheads and Yes Network, which you would know from New York, the Yankees site. So it's on sites that are about what you're interested in. And we know a lot then about like, hey, you're really into baseball, you're really into like lightweight road cycling or whatnot. So we're really interested in what we can do to make web browsing just a better experience for you. Are you talking about cross-site recommendations? Um, there's some cross-site stuff we're thinking deeply about. There's some intra-site stuff that we're thinking deeply about. Like, the bar should make the experience of browsing the web much more intuitive and much easier. Like, do you ever have that feeling that you've reached the end of the web a little bit? It's like, unfortunately, no. <laughs> It's never, never ends. For never me. for you. There's, you know, I saw you some recently. They, they're like, I reached the end of the web. Like, okay, went to my five sites. And yeah, like, right. I understand. And I'm bored now. And like, that's broken. And I think there's also something that's really broken around like, in today's world, we've figured out how to let users discover stuff through search, or through their friends. And nothing those are, between. yeah, nothing in between. Those are polar opposites. It's like search is like user pull and really specific right. with high intent. And friends is like a cute cat video and then it's a motorcycle video. There's no intent. So what's in between? So in between there's a whole land of like, you know, I'm into road cycling. Like give me more and more really cool road cycling While stuff I'm now. I'm doing something in my everyday life. Yeah, that I'm actively looking for. Like right. what can you do there? And so all of all of the sites that have your bar, yeah. you run ads on all of those sites? Yeah, we do. And then you, it's a revenue split with the, with the sites? Yeah, effectively. Effectively. And how are those ads performing? They perform really well. Uh, so on average, they get, uh, you, know, you know, for kind of the ad, ad nerds a little bit, they on average get a 0.7% click rate, which is really, really, really high. Uh, you know, an average, a normal one's like below 0.1. But way more important is once a user clicks on the ad, engages with the ad. It's all opt-in. Yeah, it's all opt-in. There's never, there's never like, oh, you know, like, we don't surprise people. Um, the user on average spends 60 seconds with the rich media, and that's two times a television commercial. So, for you know, if you're Are you able to charge two times a television commercial rate, right? we can charge a lot. Our CPMs, I, you know, I'll tell you. I was, Talking to people in the industry, when we talk to some people about what our CPMs are, you know, for they're doing this, they're very surprised where we're able to. Tell me a little bit about your uh, page views. So you yeah. have 250 million uniques. How many page views a month are you? Yeah, so uh, worldwide, uh, in October, we did 5.3 billion. A billion pages. Yeah, 5.3 billion. That's up from 2.8 billion in October the year before. Uh, so we've effectively doubled page views, close to doubled it in the last year. And doing that on the order of billions is hard, so we're, we're proud of that. Like the team, you know, the Mebo team is an awesome team, and we're really proud of them. For Terrific. How many people do you have now? Just a little under 200. Wow. You guys are huge. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much for joining us, and I uh, can't wait to uh, see what you guys come out with next. Cool. Thanks for having us, Eric. Take care. Thank you.